After a second mistrial in the Jessica Chambers murder case, many of you are asking, what happens next? Quentin Tellis' second trial for the murder of 19-year-old Chambers ended Monday in a hung jury. Local 24 News reporter Tish Clark got new information from the district attorney on this case, and she joins us live in the studio with the details. Hi, Tish. Hi, Katina. Well, Quentin Tellis is set to go back to Monroe, Louisiana in a day or two, so sometime this week. He'll face murder charges down there for killing a college exchange student. Investigators say the student was tortured before she was stabbed nearly 30 times in July 2015. Tellis was indicted for that murder a year after the student's body was found. Tellis pleaded guilty a couple of months before he was indicted for her murder of using the student's debit card to withdraw $1,000. He received a 10-year sentence as a habitual offender. Tellus was then extradited to Mississippi to face murder charges in the Jessica Chambers case. Now, as for the Chambers murder, District Attorney John Champion says he might take Tellus to trial for a third time, but he wants to let a motion simmer down in Pinellas County and talk to the Chambers family before making any decisions. We will place a detainer on him, and um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll talk with the family, and, and whether we give it a third go or not, I, I'm, I'm not absolutely not prepared to say that now or in the next couple of weeks. I want to see what happens in Louisiana and then have a talk with the family at some point uh, about which way we go um, on the case. Okay, Tellus also faces a felony drug charge in Louisiana. As a habitual offender, he could get life uh, in prison if the drug charge is brought up in the future. So coming up at six, if Quentin Tellus is convicted of murder down in Louisiana, well, why that conviction can't be brought up in a possible third retrial here in Mississippi or in Mississippi in the Jessica Chambers case. We'll answer that for you. For now, live in the studio, Tish Clark, Local 24 News.